What's gravy, baby? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Trey. All the Trey way, I never leave you astray. You hear me? And this video today is about what you guys need to do to make sure you get everything that you can get from season five, okay? Because at this point in time, as I'm making the video, it's a day and 20 hours left. Likely when I post this video, it will be maybe just a day left. So, what should you make sure you do the last day? that season five is available okay and also give y'all some new team updates we made some very big upgrades we got rid of some dudes and things of that nature so make sure y'all like comment subscribe do all that stuff for the boy let's get right into it baby so if you guys have not known or seen the last video you guys should have seen that your boy did max out the field pass okay i maxed it out 100 percent level 50 you see the check marks you know what i'm saying um so i went over how you know you can get to level 50 last video and the way that i did it um just to go over shortly here is to go through every single field pass that's available real deals i'm gonna go through every single one so you guys can see real deals guess what guys 100 percent complete all the xp i gained i got through and i did everything okay so that's real deals that's all done we go down to ring of honor um i don't think i'm doing ring of honor just yet but um i'm still almost about done i've gotten all the xp for it so the only thing I, that's left is this right here and you know after this up after this um objective right here with the rushing yards i just got to go into a solo get these rushing yards and then i'll be maxed out with this as well okay so this is pretty much all done i got all the xp from ring of honor okay um we keep on going free agency promo so i i mean as you guys are just seeing the trend i complete every single play i mean every single field pass i complete them all and i get the xp for every single one of them the full xp so you've guys seen i'm getting all the xp for all these promos and this is key to complete the field pass um for the season you see same thing nfl combine all the xp i've gotten it all for that promo okay and we can even go to like the archived ones and sugar rush i completed it 100 percent. you know what i'm saying this is another one i completed 100 percent. you know what i'm saying and it was a it was a pretty decent amount of xp that came with the sugar rush promo okay so you guys are catching my drift you gotta go through all your field passes okay every promo that comes out usually has a specific field pass and you need to do everything available not only that daily objectives okay very key because you see daily tracker i've completed it all 40 days complete and i got you know 15 i mean 12k 12k 15k you know and you just see so on and so forth this is 130 four thousand train um xp hundred and thirty four thousand xp that you guys can get just by doing your daily objectives okay um and all of these weeks right here week one through six i've done them all week seven i got two more to go but it don't matter because guess what baby we already maxed out you hear me i don't even gotta do these two i don't gotta worry about these two because i've maxed it out already okay so you guys see all these weekly objectives very key because most of these give you 15k a pop 15 thou wow a pop for these objectives which is huge and which is why i made it a point to make sure to do that right there okay so that's you know a short story of how i maxed out um everything and what you guys need to make sure that you guys get on and do when it comes to being one day left you know what i'm saying there's one day left guys so it's not long so during this last day or so you need to make sure you guys are grinding the field pass get your field pass all done make sure you get the collectible that will be able to be used in season six which is this collectible right here okay this level 47 collectible is what you need to make sure that you get because it will give you a boost a 20k that a 20k xp boost whenever season six comes okay so that's why 47 should be the one you're shooting for these other ones they're all cool it's all fine you don't have to have them but it's good to get anything you can get for free from ea okay but this is what you have to make sure you get 
and like I said get these weekly objectives done most of these objectives you can do in solo battles challenges you know what I'm saying you can just go grind solo battles and challenges and get all of these done all right you can literally go into a solo battle and complete one full week in one solo battle game if you play it the right way you know what I'm saying so you guys just need to grind any field passes that you have not completed real deals ring of honor free agency combine any of them that you have not completed make sure you go ahead and complete it okay so that way you can get all the xp you need for season five and then competitive pass it don't really matter because they actually took away the ability to get xp through here yes i slack terribly i have not been playing online like that i did not even get zaven collins you know what i'm saying like your boy didn't even reach level 37 guys it's bad out here like you know what i'm saying like your boys at level 20 25 so i i am missing out on some good stuff 96 overall weekly wild card a midfield pack coins red zone pack more coins midfield pack red zone pack coins touchdown pack like all this stuff i could be getting some glitchy pulls possibly if i was about my business and i was going through the comp pass you know what i'm saying and if you get these exclusive players early you can sell them and you can get a bnd version that you can keep on your team okay so i have severely um lack and slack on a competitive pass the past few months because your boy just ain't had the time dog like i'm gonna just be honest your boy ain't really had the time to grind um online like that like when i do play mutt champs i'll play like six games and go six and oh or i'll play 10 games and go 10 and oh you know what i'm saying and then i don't have no more time to play you know what i'm saying like it it's tough out here when it comes to the comp pass but um the big thing is making sure that you at least get the season passes done the comp pass i'm not saying you need to but there's a lot of free coins to be made up in here in the comp pass okay so that's pretty much what you guys need to do for you know the last day of season five um let me know you guys got any comment questions concerns things of that nature and just to let you guys know i do have that um actual collectible so if we go to my items and then we go to program let me see it should be under season pass season pass you will see that collectible should be in here somewhere season five collectible right here as you guys can see well season six season six collectible right here we're gonna wait till season six drop and we're gonna throw this in there in order to get 20k xp and then we also were able to upgrade um this tj watt maxed out because we hit level what was it level um 40 40 um no level 50 level 50 gave us all the tokens to upgrade tj watt Keyshawn johnson and patrick peterson you can get all these guys to a 97 overall by using those tokens um tj watt is the best one but i really don't have any room on my team to play him you know what i'm saying like i really have no room on my team to play him so as far as team goes so i made some changes i told you guys last video some things had to be made to my d line but i also i did not go over the o-line change that i made i got chris lindstrom i got this dude mike um a or uh, um what is it oniwu oniwu mike oniwu um chris lindstrom quinn nelson you know of course unlocking the andrew the free andrew whitworth from the caesar field pass okay so i'm pretty much everybody's a 98 or 99 on my old line and they played great we got secure protectors on everybody besides kevin mawai okay so this is pretty huge for the old line being upgraded i had a lot of spaces that needed to be upgraded on the old line so i needed to go ahead and do that I, a lot of people got raised so my left guard i got rid of them my right guard i got rid of them. my right tackle i got rid of them we got rid of three people on the old line because we had to beef up and get better in the trenches you remember same thing for the defense we had to beef up and get better in the trenches okay so we went out you know i'm 25 out of 50 raiders and 25 out of 50 seahawks i got leonard williams okay this guy right here um is a big old boy big boy 
clogging up the middle with decent speed and acceleration 99 strength 99 block shedding 99 power move yes those 99s that i just named 99 strength 99 power move 99 block shedding is huge because it's going to be bulldozing and getting by anybody okay and he's an ltd so i have an automatic 350k to quick sell him i only i got this guy for like 400k guys it was great value i got him for 400k and i'm i can get a guaranteed 350k um with no tax deduction if i quick sell him which is huge mean joe green adding him to the squad okay so the people we got rid of we got rid of justin tuck that's one of the guys we replaced justin tuck with leonard williams the free chris jones we got um last season i finally got rid of him from mean joe green this dude right here because he's 6 foot 275 a big guy but look at the numbers 99 block shedding 99 power move i need to say no more those two 99s right now are huge power moves is the way to go strength at a 98 acceleration 97 like come on bro he's a beast in the middle and of course you know he's going to get no outside i mean um inside stuff for zero and he also gets interior threat for zero as well so this guy is probably top three d tackles in the game which is you know why you have to get him and the abilities on this dude right here which is key for my ends i want to make sure to get no outsiders and he gets no outsiders for zero under pressure i got that on him for one okay so those two additions on the defense in the trenches we still got big daddy sapalicious he is still one of the best budget beasts in the game and then we got chase young as well still we got to get rid of him but he's the last real real re weak he's the last real weak link i have in the trenches right now because these three dudes right here they be putting in some goddamn work okay these three dudes be putting in work for real for real um uh, is that it is that is that is that the main um additions i believe and um lastly troy palamalu okay troy palamalu a beast so um who do we get rid of for this dude cam chancellor we got rid of cam chancellor it's not cam chancellor fault cam chancellor was still a beast but this dude is the best db in the game i'm gonna put it like that the best db in the game okay so right now i have bo jackson playing one safety i have troy palamalu playing the other safety Tariq woolen and namdi playing corner okay and my um four three six one but this dude right here mine look at his ability stack after you do all the challenges you get this special little um roh token okay and it unlocks his last ability slot right here and you can give him zero ap acrobat bro so I have zero AP Acrobat on him. I have zero AP mid zone. I have one AP deep zone KO. You know what I'm saying? And then he has built in pick artist for zero. So that's one, two, three, four. Four abilities for one. Okay? And all of these are have to need abilities. I mean, Acrobat, you don't really need, but mid zone deep zone ko and pick artists are essential for your safeties okay and and i get all that for four you know i mean for one plus acrobat okay his ability buckets are glitchy if you want to give him avalanche or universal coverage or enforcer you can um i i'm not using the um x factor on him at the moment so i actually will go ahead and take that off of him i'm not using that um but if you wanted to you could because he's a goddamn monster what what's this a free safety slot okay he gets that okay he gets that so okay i just want to make sure he didn't get no other kims that was hiding from me but those are the main upgrades on the team guys i had to get better in the trenches on the defensive line because justin tuck and that old ass chris jones were getting pummeled and i had to make a change and get these two guys right here you know what i'm saying troy palomalu a huge pickup um you know offensive line is huge i think the next step for me to upgrade will be tight end i think we need to get another tight end um and maybe another receiver to replace justin jefferson with but besides that i'm happy with my team every single one of my dbs have 99 speed 
and that was the goal that's why i got troy palomalu because this dude 99 speed you know what i'm saying namdi we go over here and look at his speed guess what 99 speed you know what i'm saying okay we go over to Tariq woolen guess how fast he is y'all already know baby how fast he is 99 speed okay and then trip palomalu with his op card he has a stock 99 goddamn speed okay 99 man 99 zone like come on bro stop playing so that's the vision those are the reasons why i made those upgrades should do the last day that season five is here let me know if you guys have any comments questions concerns and things of that nature man appreciate all y'all love and support and for stopping through for your boy until next time it's been your boy y'all stay blessed bees and stay breeze of mine